morning to you. Quite a slow change through the past week. If you've had showers for much of the week, well, that's been the way, then you're likely to keep that in the next 24 to 36 hours. Further north into Scotland and Northern Ireland, well, there it's been more organized rainfall, and uh, you're going to keep that as well, certainly for the next 24 hours or so. This is the pattern, the low pressure providing the shower activity. Further north and west, well, this front has been slowly but surely drifting down the western side of the country, spreading more organized rainfall down through the Isle of Man, the Irish Sea coast, and into the northern part of Wales. Plenty of showers right from the word go this morning across many central and eastern parts of England. And there you see further towards the north, particularly around the Moray Firth, a fair amount of rainfall there. That's going to be the way of it for the afternoon as well. Pushed in around about those uh, northern parts of Scotland, quite a stiff north and northeasterly breeze. So it's going to feel pretty cool in those northwestern parts. Something slightly milder further towards the south. Not a great deal of change through the week, I have to say. So plenty of showers this afternoon in the south, becoming more widespread as the afternoon progresses. And as we move on through Monday and Tuesday, not a great deal of change, with the low pressure still very much on station. And then by Tuesday, it just shows signs of easing its way in towards the North Sea. So taking some of the shower activity away from western areas. But for Monday, well, plenty of showers developing across many parts of England and Wales after quite a bright start in many locations. But uh, with that occlusion close by the North Sea coast here in the northeastern corner of England, southeastern Scotland, more in the way of organised rainfall. And still that cool, if not cold, rather run of uh, showery weather across the northeastern parts. By Tuesday, perhaps just signs of those showers beginning to move over towards the eastern coast, allowing somewhat drier and brighter conditions across many western parts. Now, Wednesday sees something of a change, certainly across the bulk of the country, although I have to say again, not for the East Coast, where we like to keep a, quite a moist feed off the North Sea and really quite cool at this time of year still. So it will feel really quite chilly, and these temperatures of 17 and 18 and 19 will be found away from those exposed eastern coasts. And as you can see, really quite a reasonable day over in many parts of Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, and the West Country. Make the most of it, though. Again, a change as we move on through Thursday and Friday. This low pressure just beginning to dink its way in towards the southwestern corner of the country. And then by Friday, we look for a run of moist southwesterlies pushing weather into the northwestern corner of Scotland. So one or two showers down the eastern fringes of uh, England with that cloud and rain building over in the west. And then the cloud and rain further north come Friday, dry by that stage for the rest.